YouTube channel and over 115,000 Twitter followers. Listen, let's hear it. Listen to how a digital handshake has changed his business plan. Fred, please come up here and show him how it's done. Yeah, that usually helps. <laughs> you know, it's really weird. I've been in the Gold Coast like 20, probably 20 times, but for some strange reason today I walk in and everybody that I walk by is smiling at me. It's these new shoes that I've got. You guys probably know this too. They're looking down and they're smiling. I have about 2 million hits of, on YouTube a month. I have 650 videos on YouTube, over 115,000 Twitter followers, and my partner has more than I do. So about Oh, maybe November of last year, I made a commitment to myself. I said, I'm going to do one video per day, every day, just one video. And the one thing that that commitment did, she was talking about commitments, the one thing that that commitment did was that brought me to where I was because I, all, I did videos before that, I probably did a couple a week and it depended on what my mood was. But once I said, I'm doing one day, it was amazing. I went to Cancun and I didn't have my dogs over Christmas and my wife's with me and I've got to, no matter what, I'm working over there because I have to by midnight every day get my video in. But there's no way you can get to a mass amount of people like you can on the internet. WordPress, it's funny how I got into WordPress. I had a regular website and what I noticed was it would cost me like $20 to have somebody put information. I'd, I'd go and I'd do something, I'd do an event, I'd send it to my web guy, because like I said, I could barely check my email. He charged me $20 to put it up, and that did two things. One, I was real tentative about what I was gonna put up, because it was costing me $20 just to put up everything that I needed to put up. So once I learned about WordPress, and how simple it was, that's all I needed to do. I knew how to take an embed code and put it on there. I knew how to, how to post something to my blog, and that's all I needed to do. And that alone, just making it easier for me, made me able to put way more content than I could normally. Just the ability that I could do it by myself. And really, if you sat down and you put how much time that you're spending on all of these things, you know, it seems like I'm working hard all day, but if you wrote it down on stuff that you're doing with social media, me doing all of this every day, it's maybe half an hour. Maybe. So, that's just a commitment that that's part of your job. It doesn't matter what field you get into, because you're still, to ignore this is just ridiculous. And if you do, you're gonna get blown away by people that aren't ignoring this. There's just too many ways to get out to too many people. Media networks, like there's Ping FM, where I can put one post up, just one, and it goes to everything at the same time. She was talking about post for the same type of thing. So you don't have to do all kinds of stuff. You know, you just need to learn to to uh, cut it down, cut down on your on your um, on your time. So do this stuff daily. Get a blog, write daily. All this stuff could be concealed into one thing, so it doesn't come down to oh my god, I got to do Twitter, I got to do Facebook, I'm going out of my what's going out of my mind. You put up one thing a day, and it goes to everything at once. All right. Thank you very much. Fred, that was great, it, but you know, you made it sound so difficult. <laughs> I think the point, remember we started out saying, you gotta be focused. Fred's focused, he, and he does what he can do and what he's willing to do. So I think everybody could do one thing a day, and as he said, just post it, and you'll be there, and Catherine will show you in the classes. <laughs>